So right now we're going to talk about the surface area and volume of pyramids. Uh, you probably know pyramids from Egypt, and they are basically these uh, triangles that stick out of the ground. Now, when we look at a pyramid, we're going to be, we're going to be looking at some specific um, parts that uh, should be a little bit new, but overall not too difficult. So if we look at the basic breakdown of a pyramid, uh, again, we're going to be finding the surface area and the volume. Now, if you remember that surface area is all the areas of the flat faces put together, then you might think that for surface area of this pyramid, we have to find the area of all four of these triangles and add that to the area of the base. And while, yes, that is true, there's actually an easier formula that we can use to find the area of a pyramid. Uh, what we're going to do is we will take one half of the perimeter of the base times the lateral height plus the area of the base. So again, some new variables here. B, and that's a capital B, is the area of the base. And this L is the lateral height. And of course, capital P just stands for perimeter of the base. Um, this actually is for regular bases. So whenever the base is a regular polygon, this formula applies. If the base is not regular, then we cannot use this formula, and then you just add the faces as you would for a prism. Uh, and remember, a regular polygon is a polygon with congruent sides. So I'm confident we understand what the area of the base means, but what about the lateral height? Well, if we go back to this picture of a pyramid, imagine you're looking from this head on and you just see a triangle. Well, the height, as we know, is perpendicular to the base, so it's going to be that vertical distance there. That's the height. The lateral height is along the edge. This is L. That's the lateral height. It goes from the corner of the pyramid, uh, or the side of a pyramid, up to the apex. The apex is where all of the triangles, the triangular faces, meet. That is the lateral height. So here in this area here, again, the height would be from the center directly up, and it would be perpendicular. But we're going to be looking for this length down along the front face. So we'll come back to volume in just a second, but let's look at a couple of problems where we have to find surface area. So again, we have that the surface area is equal to one half of the perimeter times the lateral height plus the area of the base. So if we look at this pyramid here, we can see that the base is this square pyramid. So the perimeter is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 16. They actually give us this lateral height, which is 5.4. And then we add the area of the base, which is 4 times 4, which coincidentally enough is also 16. So if I do 1 half times 16 times 5.4, and I add 16, I get 59.2. And because it's area, or surface area, it's feet squared. For this next example, again, we have another square base here. So the surface area is 1 half the perimeter of the base times the lateral height plus the area of the base. So this is one half of that perimeter, which again is 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 24. The lateral height that they give us is 7.6. And we add the area of the base, which is 6 times 6, or 36. 
So we get 1 half times 24 times 7.6, and we add that 36, and we get that the surface area is equal to 127.2 yards squared. So the formula itself is new, it's different, but once we're familiar with these new variables, capital P, capital B, and L, then it just becomes a matter of plugging in values and it's, it's easy. Now volume is similar, except we have this different formula now. You may know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Well, the volume of a pyramid is one third area of the base times height. So that height, again, is the height of the pyramid. So if we can see here for number three, we're looking for the volume, which is one third of the area of the base times the height. The area of the base here is this rectangular base, and the rectangular base is going to be four times three, area is 12, and the height that they give us here is four. Notice this is the height of the full pyramid because it starts measuring at the center and goes to the apex, whereas the lateral height goes to the side. So this height is four, and so a third of 12 is four, so I get that the volume is equal to 16 inches cubed. Similarly, over here, for number four, the volume is one-third of the area of the base times the height. So I get one-third. Area of the base here is 25, and the height is eight. So if I do one-third of that, I get that the volume is equal to 66.6 repeating, so I can round it off to 66. 0.67 feet cubed. And that's volume and surface area of a pyramid. So it's going to be important to understand what the lateral height is, what P stands for, what B stands for, and understand that capital B and lowercase b are different. Um, but once we get all this, then working with pyramids really is not that difficult.